I don't have expectations for anybody. I don't. Until you show me what it is that you're there for. Then I adjust my expectations accordingly. But, you know, people be walking into situations with expectations for people who've never proven themselves, who you haven't seen be consistent, who you haven't seen lay it all on the line for you. And that right there is the biggest mistake you can make because you're giving this person all this time, energy and effort and you hadn't seen anything from them that proves them worthy of it. So now when the relationship ends, you feeling like they slighted you. Nah, they didn't slight you. You just went way too hard before allowing them to prove themselves. That's the thing, man. Like to get commitment, you got to prove yourself. Both sides. You got to prove your investment. It's not necessarily what you can bring to from a monetary perspective or like materialistic, shallow things. That's not what I'm talking about. Proving your level of investment. Like how far are you willing to ride for me? He's just pretty much he's just speaking on things that you know what I'm saying we speak about all the time like unrealistic expectations um you know one of the things that kind of stopped me a lot you know um especially like when you meet somebody new and you're just expecting things to go a certain way you know what I'm saying you like man we're gonna do this this and this you know what I'm saying you ain't even got the text back yet you know so a lot of times we put ourselves in situations and we expect all these different things from people and you know what i'm saying there's been no type of consistency yet you know what i'm saying so that's one thing that can definitely um you know what i'm saying destroy your your mental in the way you think because what happens is a lot of times it's a cycle you meet somebody you know what i'm saying you expect them to do a and b and then you get disappointed and then it's the same thing over and over same thing over and over and you know that's what kind of stops a lot of people because you expect too much and I, I do believe like social media has a lot to do with that. Um, we see a lot of things on there. We see all these snippets of people's lives and we we want that for ourselves so much that we're willing to um, go against what we believe within ourselves to, to get some type of outcome we feel like we deserve. So a lot of that, a lot of that type of stuff is super unrealistic because it's just not, you gotta go off of what people are doing. This goes back to actions. A lot of times we're not watching people's actions and we're so worried about wordplay. You know what I'm saying? And, and word, it, it don't matter about what people are saying. It's like, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you doing? Has that person showed up for you? Have they showed up time after time and proven, you know what I'm saying, that they can be counted? You know I'm saying? I think as I got into my mid twenties, you know what I'm saying? I learned that you never want to have your expectations too high and never want to have them too low. You know what I'm saying? Only have expectations for how you are showing up. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't expect people to show up the same way that you show up because people just got things going on. People don't take their having their word, you know what I'm saying? Keeping their word. People don't take that seriously. You know what I'm saying? That's not a priority to them. And for somebody to be a priority to you and you to expect things out of certain people, they have to have some show, some type of some consistency in your life. And also this kind of goes back to the whole, you know what I'm saying? The whole chasing mindset. Like when you, you know, when you get one itis and you meet somebody and you're pursuing, and there's nothing wrong with pursuing, but chasing, when you're chasing and chasing somebody, you obviously, um, and this goes for me too. You know what I'm saying? I had expectations for that person. So I'm chasing, 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 but I understand I'm trying, I'm giving my time and energy out freely to somebody who doesn't even deserve it. Someone who doesn't even show up, someone who ain't even consistent in my life. But a lot of us do that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us do that because we're looking for validation from them. It's not even that we really want that person. We just want to feel validated, but only you can do that with yourself. That's why it all goes back to your mental and the way you think and the way you show up for yourself. Like you got to put yourself first. Because especially with you men that's trying to deal with women, a lot of them put themselves first. That's why a lot of us lose when it comes to them, because they're going to put their needs first. So they're going to do what's best for them. And a lot of us don't do what's best for us. We we put ourselves last. And I used to do that all the time. I'll put everybody else's needs first and then my needs will come last. And what happens is you get treated like you last. So, you know, what I'm saying that's very huge. There's nothing wrong with being selfish. You know what I'm saying? But obviously, I don't mean being selfish in the sense of being selfish all the time, but being selfish in the sense of your mental, your, your mindset, your mental health, all that needs to come first. Your craft, you know what I'm saying? That needs to come first before anything else, because if you can't take care of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Then you can't take care of nobody else. All right, of course, I appreciate all you guys. Um, make sure y'all continue to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys.